Traveling Agronomist here in Hereford, Texas. Today we're talking about grain sorghum maturity. We're going to use some different examples including some forage sorghum, but the maturity process is going to be the same. So first, let's take a look at what a boot stage sorghum looks like. Booting sorghum is where the flag leaf is finishing up right here at the top and it's going to swell as that panicle pushes out up to the top and begins to form its head. So as that sorghum head pushes out it's going to swell up like a cowboy boot right there at the top of the calf and that's where you you know that the blooming process is probably within a week it's really going to be pushing out over the next couple of days depending on the heat units and how fast you can actually do that. When we see head emergence, it's right over here. These heads right here are starting to push out. You can still see that sleeve from the flag leaf right there. It's really important that we have enough heat units and enough uh, nutrients and moisture in order for that head to fully emerge out of that sheath because you can get some different diseases and some mildews and stuff build up from all the moisture whenever that head can't fully unfurl. But that is the fully, the emerging process as it comes out of the boot stage. So let's go find a head that is beginning to bloom. So as we come over here, we're going to a different forage sorghum. And the reason we're using forage sorghum is just that they're a little bit longer maturity. So in this hybrid we walked over to, this is a head on sorghum that's beginning to bloom. This yellow part right here is the anthers. They're the male part of the flower and as they the, they emerge as the blooming process progresses, they're gonna change as the blooming process progresses from a yellow color to this orangish color that you see right here. And that orangish color is what's going to give it uh, kind of a visual aid to see how long the blooming process is. What we're looking at when we call mid bloom is about 50% of that head has gone down and changed into that orange color and it's bloomed out. It's finished pollinating and it's going to be ready for seed set. So you want to have good pollination windows, which is nice, sunny uh, uh, weather, good w wind movement to help the pollen flow throughout the field. But then also, you, don't, you want to avoid excess moisture um, and extreme heat during those periods because you can affect that pollen flow um, by being too wet or you can affect the, uh, the efficacy of the pollination process being too hot um, and other environmental factors as well. So that's the blooming process. So as it fully blooms down, it's then going to start transitioning into a grain fill period. Right here, we're next to a grain sorghum that's just finished the blooming process. We can still see some of those anthers still on there, but we can start seeing that there's no more yellowing of the anthers. It's fully bloomed out and we're starting to feel some seed set in there. When we look at the head right next to it, we can see that it's progressed a little bit longer. So when we squeeze that, that's where we have that milk stage. So that's gonna be the next stage we're gonna be looking at. And remember, it's gonna mature from the top all the way down there. So the most mature grain is always at the top and the least mature is at the bottom. So the part of this head that's at the top is definitely in milk stage. So when we squeeze it, you can see that it kind of pops like, uh, like popcorn or something like that or like a, like a gusher, but you can see that there is a white type liquid that is coming out and it looks a lot like milk. We have milk stage. What's the next thing? Well, that's soft dough. So let's go find a plant right over here that is in the soft dough stage. Same hybrid, just a little bit different timing. So right here we see that when we're squeezing these, they're not necessarily popping, but they're more a soft, pliable, white. So we can see right there. And when we go down further, we can see on the bottom end of this head, a little bit softer even, but again, we're able to squeeze it. You can see the doughiness on my fingers, but we're able to squeeze it and manipulate it quite well and uh, you could be able to roll this like baker's dough. Well, now we're gonna start drying down. You're gonna start getting color on grain sorghum and forage sorghums. And this is the, the beginning of hard dough. And now that hard dough is right here. It's begun to get its color. This is a 
reddish bronze color when it's fully mature, but you can start seeing that it is very much not something that you can just squeeze with the tips of your finger. It makes an indent in your finger, but it's still soft enough that you can crack it with your, with your thumb. So at hard dough, we were right towards the end of the plant's life reaching physiological maturity, and that will be black layer, just like many other uh, crops use the same terminology, particularly corn. All right, so we walked up here to one of the really early maturity hybrids that we have, and we did find some mature grain. That black dot right there is where the seed has separated itself from the plant during the maturity process, making it a viable seed. So just because we have reached physiological maturity doesn't mean this crop is done. We want to get it down to about 14% moisture so that we can uh, maximize our profitability. The more it dries down in the field, the better it will be up into a point. You don't want to go below your local thresholds where you'll start having uh, issues with storability and the pricing uh, for your local market. But if something's brought in a little bit over the target moisture, you can dry it down going into the grain storage pri uh, process. But using things like natural gas and, and different uh, energy consumptions is going to add to the cost of production and reduce your profitability. So growers are going to really be looking for a product that weathers well in the field, meets these different check marks of maturity and a in a good fashion. So they're gonna to wanna to balance being able to dry it in the field, maximize all those to maximize their profitability. So Travel Agronomist here in Hereford, Texas, taking a look at one of our little locations and showing you a little bit more about uh, sorghum maturity. If you have any questions, hit us in the comments and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.